from the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida. This is Cruise Radio News with Doug Parker. Miami-Dade County has signed a joint statement with six cruise lines to bring shore power to the port in the next several years. When compatible ships are docked at the port, they can plug into the shoreside power grid instead of having to completely rely on their engines for electricity. Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, MSC, Disney, and Virgin Voyages have all signed on to this agreement. And in a letter sent to book guests, Viking Cruises announced that it has extended the pause in operations through May 31st of 21. Those who were booked on now-canceled sailings can opt for a full refund or a 125% future cruise credit. And MSC Cruises has revealed new details on its upcoming U.S.-based ship, MSC Seashore. The vessel will feature a new Infinity Pool as well as two Infinity Whirlpools. And for the first time, the line Steakhouse will include outdoor dining. Seashore will also have the largest yacht club to date with a larger pool area and more deluxe suite accommodations. The ship will spend its inaugural season in the Mediterranean before heading to her new home at Port Miami later this year. And cruise stocks were down on Thursday. Carnival down 1.3% to 22.89. Royal down less than a half percent, 75.06. And Norwegian down 1.2% to 25.15. Breaking news and up to the minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise Radio News. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.